<coughs> so, I did it again. It's uh, 716, the date, and it's 703, the time. Sun rises at 459, sunset, sunset is at 816. I was saying, I already had the GoPro on. I said, starting to say, I did it again. Left the garage door open. This time it was my side. Yesterday I had left uh, the left side open. I had uh, had to go out to the uh, town building last night. Uh, I paid for my registration on the motorcycle a couple weeks ago, and uh, they were supposed to send it to me or call me, and they forgot. So I finally had Rita get in touch with them. They said, "Come on down." So went for a little ride in the truck. Got back, closed the door, realized I had left my phone in the center console. I had to go back out, open the door, and I forgot to close it. Uh, uh, speaking of uh, garage doors, the, uh, the Barnes garage door uses a different type opener, uh, remote I should say, and opener. And uh, one of them stopped working. I don't understand why I told him the battery was dead, change the battery, that didn't help. So yesterday I, uh, I knew I had a leak on the uh, tractor's hydraulics. I sort of abused it uh, over the weekend. I uh, tried double loading the bucket. I would load it, tilt it way up in the air, shake it back and forth to get the, all the uh, gravel further in the bucket and then try to load it again. So I think I was forcing it out around the valve or um, I had this problem when uh, I changed from the snowblower, front mount to the snowblower back to the bucket loader. And the bucket loader every year gives me problems that uh, there's residual pressure in the bucket's hydraulic hoses even though I tried releasing it. And what I have to do is I have to uh, take a cr big crescent wrench and a big wrench and unscrew the, uh, the quick connect to release the pressure. Makes a mess on the floor. I cleaned it up with some uh, simple grain and shop rags. But uh, I don't know, I took the uh, remote control with me and uh, I had that part and I had it in pieces. Uh, the front cover was off so I could see what was going on inside. And uh, it didn't work. And there was a a little blue resistor or something in there. I just moved it a little bit. And uh, the, the opener started, the uh, remote started working. Tried a couple times, it stayed working. So that's good. Cleaned up the hydraulic mess. And uh, I was going to try and uh, put more Teflon on the, the connections but I wasn't sure whether I had the Teflon out there in the barn so I decided not to do it because uh, if I disconnect it and didn't have the Teflon the bucket would be down and I'd have trouble moving the tractor anyway I decided to clean up the mess I made out there. I had tools all over the place. I hadn't vacuumed. Yeah, I, I vacuumed the barn floor. 
I had a vacuum in a while, I vacuumed and had a uh, chainsaw by the workbench on the floor and that had been leaking oil out for the bar oil there is clean that up push, put a bunch of tools away and end up finding a bag with some plumbing plumbing equipment <clears throat> the Teflon tape and also a uh, an electric meter that I'd been missing for months. Somehow I put it in with the plumber. So now I found that. And I finished cleaning up the mess. Not entirely. But uh, it's better than what it was. And uh, I was soaked by that point. This is no uh, no air conditioning in the barn, and no insulation. <coughs> <coughs> so the sun had been beating down on the steel, and uh, basically a uh, convection oven, I guess. I don't know. So I called it quits. Went in, jumped in the shower. And uh, got back online to see that uh, Trump had announced his VP candidate, or VP choice, J.D. Oh, J.D. Vance. It's, uh, I guess, typical Trump that he picked J.D. Vance back in 2016. J.D. Vance said he couldn't stomach Trump. He hated him. No, he didn't hate him. He couldn't stomach him. He didn't like him. And uh, that was before Trump became president. And uh, J.D. Vance eventually swore how good of a president Trump was. And uh, he became a Trump convert. So, uh, Donald Trump Jr. had been advising uh, President Trump on uh, the short list of candidates for VP, and he was pushing for J.D. Vance, so here we have it. <coughs> And uh, the president made an appearance at the uh, convention last night. He didn't speak. His uh, speech is on Thursday, for what I understand. <clears throat> he has said that the speech he had, he had prepared, and he claimed it was a doozy, he's throwing that speech out after having been shot. He's written a new speech. <clears throat> One of the interesting things um, Trump invited the uh, head of the Teamsters Union mm -hmm. to the convention and the uh, I went to bed as the guy was on the podium, and uh, he wasn't there to endorse Trump or Biden. He was just there to speak, and uh, I fell asleep during it because he was uh, more or less on a rant. And. Uh, the more he talked, the more he was losing the crowd. 
but yeah, they're still trying. <clears throat> This might take a bounce, but we were watching it earlier uh, on PBS because uh, mainstream media didn't cover it until 9 o'clock. But PBS was covering it earlier. And uh, the moderator, not moderators, the personnel at the desk analyzed what was going on. They had uh, uh, like two women and three men, two black guys and like that. And uh, the uh, one black guy is gay. And he was bashing Katie Vance because he's uh, outspoken Vance is outspoken against trans children. There's no such thing as, this is my opinion, there's no such thing as trans children. There's young, young children who are confused. Many haven't gone through puberty. That uh, might be a tomboy or uh, might have played with his sisters' dolls, that their uh, liberal parents want to uh, join the trans movement and have their children be a trans child, the puberty blockers, or mastectomies. Let the child grow up. That's enough of that. Unsubscribe because of my opinions, that's fine. I'm not making any money from YouTube. <clears throat> this is me, it's just me and Flynn taking our daily walk. Thunderstorms later. Now, at this level, the humidity is it's 70 degrees at uh, whatever time it was. You have to pick it up the registration and sticker you have to put in your license plate at the uh, Carroll Building, Carroll Plantation Municipal Building. Took a run down to, come on, get out of there. Let's look in that spot again. Took a run down to some bill club to uh, power cycle the DSL modem. And uh, my Raspberry Pi, which runs the Twin Gate software, and uh, smart plugs, and the uh, 
Wi-Fi extender. I use something called DDWRT. <coughs> on an older ASUS ASUS RT-AC66U <clears throat> if you haven't looked into DDWRT it uh, has a lot of features centered around this note a lot of controls <clears throat> so having recycled everything every power cycle I should say and I get back to the house and I was able to connect to the uh, network down there using that twin gate software I think it was the uh, DSL modem and uh, I've been in touch with Consolidated They're the internet provider they said they were going to work on the problem remotely. Honestly, I had forgotten it was DSL. I thought it was like uh, the old, uh, oh, I can't remember what it had back in Jersey. Cable. And uh, Optum. Up the long line ahead, where uh, after so many years, the cable coming from the pole to the house was bad. I was getting really bad performance. And then the one guy who came said the cable had to get replaced, and uh, didn't have a cable, or didn't have some tool or something. And he's going to have, to have somebody coming back the next day. Oh, he didn't have a Doxa, Doxis 3 modem. D-O-C-S-I-S. And the uh, guy came the next day. And uh, I told him what the guy said. He said, that guy doesn't know what he's talking about. And he had me sit there for four hours where he did the same test the guy had done before the previous day. And after everything he did didn't fix it, he uh, went out and changed the cable from the pole to the house. And the uh, internet speed was back to normal. So he basically wasted four hours of my time going through the same troubleshooting the other guy had done. Didn't apologize for wasting my time. It is, uh, it is moist. Let's go, bud. Flynn, Flynn, Flynn. Come on, let's go in the house. <clears throat> this is as far as we go. this tree is here one hanging over there I've got uh, a couple down the uh, northwest corner where the, the north the uh, north driveway and the west trail merge or intersect I cut a bunch of it down because it's hanging down just like that chipped it up I should have cut it all down I cut Stop eating the grass. But I left some and now it's hanging down just like just like last year. <clears throat> so I gotta get back there and trim that. Cut it down, chip it up. Stop eating the grass, come on. He came out to me yesterday. <clears throat> and it was burping or getting ready to throw up. <clears throat> but he was all nervous. 
comes up on my legs with shrimp claws. And uh, I let him outside. He proceeded to eat grass. And I left him out there for a while. Came in, he came in. Had a drink of water and it was fine. Oh. That's, uh, that's David. David's in on uh, Eli's camp. I guess he's here. Oh, is it two years already? <coughs> They've uh, cleaned up a bunch of the camp. They put in a uh, an Amish style little house. I noticed they've got a bigger solar array. He's off grid, but he does have uh, Starlink in there. I helped him set it up. <coughs> the Eli set it up. Eli had uh, bought it at his house down in uh, southeast Maine. And uh, they, SpaceX Exploration had locked it into that zip code. So uh, it wouldn't connect up here. So <coughs> I had read about that geolocking or something. And so I. He gave me his user ID and password. I went on to a space exploration site and moved in the system. I moved the location from where he had bought it to up here. And as soon as I did that, came online. <coughs> drenched again. <clears throat> A lot of topics this morning. <coughs> so both Eli and David are ham operators. Brother Tom is also. Brother Tom has been involved in radio since I guess he was nine years old. Which makes that what? Uh, Fifty-four years. Flynn. <clears throat> You're running out of water there, bud. <clears throat> I took it on his leash, his harness, and he caught me, so he must be getting ready to relieve himself. He's looking for his uh, difficult place to find, difficult place to go. Come on. Uh, well, the uh, other topic, the cellular camera I resurrected that has been sending me countless pictures of uh, nothing, no movement, out of probably 60 pictures. It's a picture of one coyote. <clears throat> so I had uh, sent a uh, support request 
to uh, the vendor who never responds. <clears throat> they asked me what I could do to uh, cut down on the false positives. And I don't know whether they can do anything remotely. But the uh, <clears throat> number of pictures have uh, slowed way down. I only got three pictures of the night, and again it was three pictures of nothing. Seems on a sense of something here. <clears throat> no, stop. Stop. <clears throat> no topic change. Virginia was out here mulling yesterday. <clears throat> I think it was yesterday. Might have been the day before. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, it might have been Sunday. Lynn, come on. Lynn. <clears throat> uh, back to uh, going to town, or going to the town office to get my registration. When we drove by Antonio's, the uh, train was up across the drive. <clears throat> and then when we came back, the chain was down. So I don't know whether he was getting ready to leave, whether he was out and about. <clears throat> or if he was out and about, he would have put the chain back up. Go on, let's go. Maybe not. Come on. Come on. It's a jet. Topic change again. I was over to Burger Time about two days ago. <clears throat> he told me that a friend uh, might have had a stroke or multiple strokes. And uh, I reached out to his wife and she got back to me saying he didn't have a stroke, he had three heart attacks. And uh, he was in the hospital for. A bypass, I wanted to do a shovel bypass, but couldn't. So they only did one. And <clears throat> she's hoping he's home by the end of the week. <clears throat> Real nice couple.
So I'll have to keep an ear out to see whether she needs any assistance over there. I told her to call me if she needs any help. Tuesday. We're just going to check to see whether she has sewing and whether any of the women will be at the club. <clears throat> Mom? Door today. Mm. <clears throat> I'm hoping the uh, humidity drops a little bit. And I can get a mower out. Cut some grass before thunderstorms kick in. degrees here and it's too hot for me I don't know how the people down south <coughs> Texas Arizona New Mexico uh, California how they take this stuff and, uh, <coughs> Post office years ago started to take a picture of every piece of mail that goes through their system. I don't know what kind of uh, storage facility they have to uh, take a picture of millions, hundreds of millions of items shipped to the mail every day. <coughs> but uh, one of the services they provide is they once they have the picture, they uh, send you an email saying what's going to arrive today. And uh, yesterday we were supposed to get a piece of mail. And uh, the item that was pictured was not delivered. So I don't know we went to somebody else or it's going to show up today. Twitter all night yesterday, and uh, you won't believe the number of people on the left that are saying that Trump staged the assassination attempt. <clears throat> and there's two people dead, including the shooter, two people critically injured, and these clowns are saying Trump staged that. That's how long you have to be. <clears throat> uh. 
uh, and uh, some of the uh, so-called conspiracy theories about uh, the, uh, the local police having climbed the ladder and seen the shooter and then back down the ladder was confirmed. confirmed. The local police chief came on the news last night and said that it was confirmed that uh, one of his officers had climbed the ladder, seen the shooter. The shooter trained his gun on the, the officer. The officer backed down the ladder a little bit, little bit and lost his grip. <clears throat> I'm sure that I turned it immediately and shot at Trump. <clears throat> oh boy. Well, that's it. <clears throat> a lot of topics coming today. <clears throat> so if you don't agree with them, thanks for watching.